would like to go over uh, dynamic zone visibility in a container, which is my most recent blog post. So what is dynamic zone visibility? Well, previously um, I did a blog post on sheet swapping, but I want to show you Tableau's new um, feature called dynamic zone visibility. So if you click on a, a bar chart, basically a, a sheet will appear with a map for that information. And you click on another bar, once again, it will appear on the right hand side and you can click each bar and it'll show that map. But when you click on that bar, it, the map will go away. So this is with the help of a container. So I'm going to go to um, Tableau Public and I've connected to Orders Sample Superstore. And to create this visualization, I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the bar chart first. I'm gonna put sales on the rows shelf. And then I'm going to put region on the columns shelf. So that's my, my first bar chart. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit, hide the field labels um, once again. And now I'm gonna create the map. So I'm gonna go ahead and rename this bar chart. Now on another sheet, I'm gonna create a map. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on state and it will automatically put longitude on the column self shelf and latitude on the rows shelf. So I wanna make this a map. So I'm gonna click on my marks type dropdown and select map. So it'll be a filled map here. And um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put region on the detail um, this will allow the filtering down to region from the bar chart because both the bar chart has region and now my map has a region in the, the settings here. So the other thing I want to do is just put sales on color. So it'll automatically change, you know, the colors here. Um, maybe I want to do a stepped color. So I'm going to go ahead and click on color, click on edit colors and change it to a stepped color of about three. And the reason I'm doing this, oh, maybe I'll bump it up to four, is because your eye can only process uh, so many, you know, colors at a time. So it's a good practice to lower the amount of colors that you have on a visualization. Um, and you can even click on the advanced item here and set your center value, or you could create a calculated field. Um, that's a common question I get all the time in my classes. So if I didn't do the stepped color, I don't think it would pick up that Pennsylvania Central and West are, are some of the uh, secondary, you know, um, colors. It looks like California is the highest in sales and New York is, um, you know, secondary there. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, perhaps I want to put a label. So I'm going to go ahead and click on sales, hold the control key down on my keyboard to duplicate the pill. Another quick tip there and I'm gonna put it on that text marks card. And um, as you see here, Delaware, you know, there's even District of uh, Columbia in there too, is I'm going to format this uh, sales as an abbreviation. So I'm gonna select right click format on sales and then on the pane tab on the, the data uh, pane right here, I'm gonna select currency, no decimal places and display units thousands K. So it'll shrink that, that labeling there. So sometimes it's not great to have labeling because as you see here, um, Rhode Island is cut off um, with the hover over, but I'm just showing you just an example of how to, you know, kind of clean up a map a little bit. Um, and for those of you that aren't in the United States, you might have to manually put longitude on columns and manually put latitude on rows or maybe go up to the map menu and select um, edit locations and make sure that you select um, United States or type in US, sometimes it's USA, um, depending on you know the area that you're in. Um, so that is map. The other thing I like to do is go up to map and do uh, background layers and get rid of those um, country, region name and state province. So it kind of cleans it up a little bit more. Um, you can also get rid of all of them and just have like a plain white uh, chart or flip it to dark if you wanna have a, a dark background. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and rename this as map. 
And then I'm going to move to my dashboard and I'm going to select um, a range would be if you know your clients have different monitors. Um, you could set a range. I'm going to do fixed size and I'm going to select generic desktop. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is put a horizontal container um, on the dashboard here. And then I'm going to put the bar chart on here. And um, there's some calculated fields that I recommend that um, you add to your, um, in order for this to work. So I'm gonna go back to my bar chart. You can also click this little uh, go to sheet option here and it'll guide you back here. But I wanna create a parameter. So I'm going to right click down here and select create parameter. Um, and what I want to do is just call this um, zone swap. And I want this to be a Boolean. So it's going to be just either a true or a false value. So that's my parameter. Just zone swap and call this Boolean. Okay. Um, and then another thing is I want to do is get rid of the highlighting and um, I'll, I'll uh, when you click on something, you see how all the other bars like go gray. Um, there's a an inherent, you know, highlighting op feature that happens with Tableau. Um, I want to turn that off. So um, I want to create a calculated field called dummy. It could be whatever, um, honestly, but I'm going to put dummy in double quotes here. And I'm going to place this on the detail uh, marks card of this visualization. And it'll be used later to get rid of that highlighting. So I'm going to put that on detail. Um, I also want to create another calculated field just with the word true in it. So I'm just going to put true here. Um, and that's it. That's my calculated field. Um, and I'm going to put this on the detail marks card of this visualization. All right, so um, the other thing I want to do is um, on my map, I want to place this true calculated field on detail too. Um, so I've got, you know, true and dummy on the bar chart, and then I have all of the other fields in true on the detail of the map. So now I'm going to go to my, back to my dashboard and I am going to um, I am going to click on this sheet and go to the layout tab and um, I'm also going to um, add the map. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the map inside of this container. Um, and I can see that it's inside the container. If I double click on that tab at the top, it'll suddenly highlight both sheets in blue. So I can tell that they're inside this container. I'm going to remove the legend because I don't need it. And then I'm going to adjust this map so it's, it's half of the sheet on the right and the bar chart is half on the, the left there. And I'm gonna click on this bar chart and use it as a filter. So when you would normally click on a column, it would zoom in to the items that are, you know, in that region. So that is uh, step one with both sheets, um, making the bar chart uses a filter. But now I want to click on the map and I'm going to go to the, um, I'm going to go to actually the bar chart um, and then select dashboard and then I'm gonna select actions. And I wanna set up a parameter action. So I'm gonna select change parameter. And um, what I want to do is um, call this dynamic zone parameter action. So looking at this six months from now, I can understand what I'm doing. So um, dynamic zone parameter action, and then I'm going to select zone swap from the drop down, 
and my source field is going to be that true value. So I have the parameter here, I've got that true value, but I want to set the value to false, um, you know, when it is not selected, set it to false. So both uh, sheets are selected, run action on selection, zone parameter, zone swap is my parameter, true is the source field, and then I'm gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna click okay again. So um, I'm not gonna do anything yet with this. So now I'm gonna click on the map. And there's this new box here that says control visibility using value. So I'm gonna select that box and I'm gonna select that zone swap value. So clicking on the bar chart, nothing selected, but clicking on the map, control visibility using um, zone swap is my option. So now when I select the bar chart and then deselect it, the map will go away. And this whole um, control visibility using zone swap is what will make that um, disappear. So the last thing I wanna do is get rid of the highlighting. So notice when I select a bar, I have the highlighting here. So I wanna go up to dashboard again and select actions. And I am going to add a highlight action. And on the bar chart, so source sheets bar chart, target sheets bar chart, with the selected field dummy. So I'm saying highlight the field dummy, but because nothing is there, it's not going to highlight anything. So I'm gonna call this no highlight um, bar chart. So I know that that's what this is doing. So then I'm gonna click okay and click okay again, and that will get rid of that highlighting. You see none of those, those bars now will highlight. And that is how you do zone visibility.